Good morning all of you and let's try this very simple looking problem but until you solve it you can't feel the essence of this and we need to find the range of this two function right so let's start with the first one and similarly you can attack the second one so method one of doing will be straightforward we can make a transformation cos theta is 1 minus 10 is square theta by 2 by 1 plus 10 is square theta by 2 now you can prove this very easily by writing cos theta as cos square theta over 2 minus sin square theta by 2 over 1 can be written as cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2. Now you divide by cos square theta by 2 provided that's not 0 and you'll get this nice identity. Similarly, we can try sin theta in terms of tan theta by 2. So it's 2 tan theta by 2 over 1 plus 10 is square theta by 2. Now just keep this in the expression. Let's call it f theta. So we have cos theta minus 1. So 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. Where I am assuming t equals 10 theta over 2. Right? Minus 1 over 2 t by 1 plus t square minus, minus 2 that minus 2 now i know all of you can take it from here because it's quadratic by quadratic form so you can make it as y and, and impose the condition of this given and equal to 0 that will give the range of this expression so that's fairly a straightforward method but what i'm going to do is i'll solve this problem using coordinate geometry and the hint for coordinate geometry comes from cos theta and sin theta so let's give you second way of solving this question if i consider x is cos theta and y is sin theta with this consideration clearly they lie on a unit circle x square plus y square one it means any point cos theta comma sin theta will be a part of this unit circle right so it can represent any point on this circle centered at origin and radius one. so let's say we have this one inclination theta so point p can be written as cos theta comma sin theta so now how to translate the information of problem to coordinate geometry now cos theta minus 1 by sin theta minus 2 gives a feel of slope of a line y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 slope of line joining two points x2 minus this type of feel we are getting from here it means we can write the given expression as cos theta minus 1 by sin theta minus 2 and this is precisely the slope of a line segment joining two points cos theta comma sin theta and 1 comma 2 right now we know since cos theta comma sin theta for any value of theta belonging to real number is definitely dancing on this unit circle and 1 comma 2 is a fixed point now where to locate this point since we know x 1 comma 0 will be the diametric point of the circle so 1 comma 2 is exactly along the dimensional line right so 1 comma 2 lies here let's call this fixed point as a now the situation of the problem is we need to find the range of the slope so you know corresponding to 1 comma 2 let's say this line segment will have a slope m tending to infinity if i change the point you can clearly see slope changes so for all these points we'll have different different slope for example for this status maybe let's say if it is 45 degrees corresponding to this slope is 1 now again it's more slopey so slope becomes let's say 3 slope is 5 okay so slope gets increased slope is maybe 100 and now we are infinity so as you are moving along this direction the slope increases the line joining fixed point a to any variable point on the now the question is what is the minimum value of slope maximum to yaha se dikh raha hai infinity ko tend karega ab dekho all these slope is positive because they are making acute angle with the x axis so i know m value is definitely getting zero right so what is the minimum value of slope now clearly minimum value of slope will be corresponding to the minimum angle theta because slope is tan theta and we are in the window of 0 to pi by 2 so if m value is less then theta must be less now very surprisingly the least value of theta will come when 
there is a point which is tangential so the when the line joining point a and p is tangent to the circle okay so the corresponding to this special value will get m equals m naught now there is many ways of finding this m naught this slope one way is directly again i am doing with method one and method two so one way is to use coordinate geometry for example i can write the equation of line passing through one comma two and tangential to the circle as y minus two is slope m times x minus one and now we know the distance from the point zero zero center of circle to the line must be one okay so from center of circle what is the distance one equals mod of two right and plus or i can write two minus m or minus two plus m same thing divided by root over one plus m square now if you will solve you can square one plus m square is four plus m square minus four m and very interestingly we got four m equals three so m equals three by four so here is the value of slope that I am getting for this line is a unique value and the slope of this line m0 value is 3 by 4. Now of course this can be done in another way as well just with pure class 10 level geometry. For instance we have a point over here 1 comma 2 and we need the value of that angle. So let's call this angle as theta. If I join these points this distance is known to us root 5 length of tangent is known to us because this distance equals 2 so hence length of tangent from external point a will be equal so this guy is 2 now if it is 2 1 this is clearly root 5 right so why are this this guy is 90 degree i'm not writing the angles like name of the angles. i hope you are getting it so this is 90 minus theta once we have 90 minus theta so we can now clearly find this given angle right because that is not difficult to find since either you can use cosine rule in this triangle or with this axis I know this is a small chunk of angle over here is 90 minus 90 minus theta which is theta okay and total angle is 90 and this angle let's say is 5 so that is known to us 10 phi is perpendicular which is 2 by 1 Okay, so this is a class 10 level technique of finding angle it's nice to have fun with more method so once we know 10 phi is 1 what about this angle this is small cho 2 angle will be pi by 2 minus phi yeah right or y angle is theta so this total angle here in this triangle let's call a p and o so in triangle a p o total angle we are having is 10 of theta plus phi theta plus 90 minus phi that single is 90 minus phi we got minus cot theta minus phi is 2 and which translates to tan of theta minus phi equals minus half so tan theta minus 10 phi is 2 by 1 plus 2 tan theta equals minus half which precisely takes the form of 2 tan theta minus 4 equals minus 1 and minus 2 tan theta and as you can cl clearly see from here we'll have tan theta equals 3 by 4 so basically we got the same result over here right so it was a skip to coordinate geometry but once you know is the distance of point from a line from center it becomes fast now once you know m equals 3 by 4 now the question was 1 by m value because this is precisely 1 by m and we know m is dancing from uh, 3 by 4 to infinity and 3 by 4 is a tent infinity is open so 1 by m will belongs to 4 by 3 to 0 so it means it will go to 0 to 4 by 3 now again a big question is like will 0 be attainable now clearly 0 is attainable because uh, at cost t equals 1 we can attain 0 right so the final answer will be including 0 so 0 will be accepted here in the final answers hence 1 by m belongs to 0 to 4 by 3 and that's the answer for this problem okay now if you feel like why you included 0 because infinity was excluded see infinity came because of our problem why our problem because when i have divided this expression when i 
interpolated this as 1 by m so clearly i am not allowed to write 1 by m if m is 0 okay but the original question but the original question does not uh, you know put extra restriction of this expression not to be 0 okay so for the boundary case we need to check separately from the original question i hope it is clear Similarly, you can second question. Ko bhi kar sakto. To second wala bhi interesting aega. It's exactly the same situation. Cos beta sin theta lies on the circle. But this time, the point 1 comma half is over here. right? And now you will see the situations. Uh, because for from this point A, if I draw a line horizontal, it will correspond to slope 0. Okay. And similarly, we will have this negative slope. Let's say m equal to m not under the initial condition. And as it increases along the circumference, you can see we'll have a situation again in m is turning to infinity. So in this case, the things will be interesting because the answer will come in the union form, right? The answer will come in the form of union. So that actually you can solve and it will be very interesting to see that because we can see the answer will go from some value to infinity, 0 to infinity, but it will come to this union minus infinity to minus of some special number m naught where again m naught is tangency and what's the value of m naught m naught can be attained of zero for say it is attainable so zero will be included m naught value if you will check so you can check the calculation i guess it will come as minus 4 over 3 so the final answer will be minus infinity to minus m naught union zero to infinity you have check karlo value ek var check karlo so they got the point was like how trigonometric question Heights within itself, the idea of coordinate geometry. And each type of situations also comes in complex numbers. They can ask this in a function. The same question can be asked in trigonometry or coordinate geometry. I hope you have understood how to understand the problem and moreover how to tackle the problem in a very basic style. Thank you. Have a good day. Keep watching my channel. If you want to enroll in my course for paid problem solving, uh, you can just see the WhatsApp link in the description. Thank you.